Santiago Moguela Eswantini, which literally means welcome to the kingdom of Eswantini. Your boy is right here. You know what? This country is super beautiful. I mean, the landscape in this country, this is the country that I really want to buy a mansion because I can just stay here and then just admire nature. Africa is really blessed. Eswantini is on another level, I mean, in terms of nature. But hey, when you get to Eswantini, the first thing you have to know is how to dress. They are saying I'm not dressing very well, but uh, they have to forgive me because I'm a foreigner. But you know what? We need to dive into their history. Let's go find out what the people of Eswantini wear and what it symbolizes. Hey, <laughs> come with me, yo. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How to say nice to meet you? Nyachabula go born nyacha bula bula go banawe or born hey i think i will learn that one next time <laughs> <laughs> my name is maya an african born in ghana and then i'm visiting eswantini for the first time and um i just got to know this mm. and i want to know i want to find out more to educate me and also a lot of people out there okay can you tell us your name my name dunam sibi to translate it to a, a village chief, I mean a village headman. Village Nduna, headman. Yeah. Wow. That's what. That's the meaning of Nduna. We've seen different animal skin over here. Mm. What does this represent in Eswantini? Well, it, uh, what I can say, the different type of animal skins that you see here are the animals that are found here in Eswati. Even in time gone by, there used to be a lot of um, leopards mm. which are worn by royalty. Mm -hmm. But as time went by, now they were killed and all that. So now there's quite a few in the game reserves. Oh, okay. It's part a leopard is part of the royal game. Could not just kill it anyhow. Okay. Yeah. Just like a python and whatever. Can we move around a little bit? Mm. What, what is the what is the um, which animal is this? This is a monkey. A monkey. Yeah. And what do you use this for? That's a loin skin. You put it ar around your waist. Ar around your waist. Yeah. Oh, this is why. Yesterday I went to the Marula Festival. Ah. I wanted to see the king for the first time, mm. but they told me I can't enter because I don't have this on my waist. Yes. And protocol, you have to go through different channels. Different so channels. Just go, can't go and meet him. Wow. So this this is like it's a monkey. Mo and everyone it's worn, it's worn by men. Worn by men? Yeah. Men and young boys. If, if a woman cannot wear this. No, they don't wear. They've got their, their own attire. Wow. Yeah. And this one? This is a great diker. Okay. Yeah. Also it's worn by also men. Also worn men and yeah, and boys. Young boys. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then th the same is the same. Is the thing? same. That's the same just thing. The same thing. All together. Mm. Wow, I've seen a lot of it. This is what you wear when, uh, just for instance, mm -hmm. if you were not wearing this, you'd have worn this and this, and then you have to wear this, the beads only. But if you've got the cloth, then you have to wear just the just this. only, and not this. That's that's the culture. The, yeah. That's so culture. if I put this one. On my head, I'm disrespecting. No, no. put it. I can put it. Yeah, you can. But because you are wearing this, okay, cannot. Because I'm wearing this, yeah. I'm not supposed but to wear. If it. you were not wearing this, you would have worn this. Okay. I do show you. Oh, wow. That you wear this. Yo. Then you get your stick. Get your stick. It. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, you carry, carry, carry yeah. this one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. When you are wearing traditional attire, you have to carry a stick. You don't just walk alone. This is beautiful, man. Like it's my first time like learning something like this. Uh, I think I need to move in here because I like dressing simple. And I feel like dressing like this is just but is it a tail of an animal or something? No, this is a calf. A calf. A calf skin. A calf skin. Yeah. Then you just twist it. Oh. Then just, just make it, it round, yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Can we move? And what about this one? This is a this, this is a several cat. It's as big as a dog. 
it's called a servant cat, but it's also loin skins. These are for young boys. For young they boys. They also have for men. Oh, okay. But they are finished out of stock. But I'm seeing a lot of things for young men. What, what, what are the ones for the women? They are. We have them inside. You can go inside the market. The show market you. and it just inside the market. Can I'll show you the women? Okay. Yeah. All right. Type. Okay. Before we go, show me the women on. Is there anything else here that you think you need to learn or people have to know? Oh, this, this we call this angel. You see, when you you are carrying a shield, mm -hmm. this this is what uh, shows which uh, regiment you belong to. Mm. It's just in, in, in Eswatini. There's three regiments. Okay. There's Inyati, that's where the king is, also a member of Inyati. Then there's Kajela, there's a most of the elders. Okay. This one here is for Inyati, it's made of uh, baboon skin. This is a baboon skin. This, skin. this is a jackal skin. It's for um, Kajela. Then we've got this one here for, this is a monkey skin. Wow. They call it uh, Inganyeti. It's for the young boy like his age, age group. Yeah. Uh -huh. That distinguishes which uh, regiment you belong to. You belong to. Yeah. Well this is for Zulus. For Zulus. Yeah. And then what about this one? This is a cow horn. It's used for dancing. For During the Marin Marula festival. Okay. They just they carry this one here on the right hand side, then on the left hand side they carry a Small shield it's mm. made of cow, cow skin. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So I thought this was for drinking, but it, yeah, it, you do. There's a certain clan. Mm -hmm. They are called the yes, is it the Masegos. Okay. When they when they are performing certain rituals, or maybe they have killed a cow, celebrating something. Mm. They don't use anything. They drink from this a cow, cow horn. Did you guys know this? Leave a comment and let me know. You know, like I feel so happy in here because I'm learning so much. I'm learning things that I never knew. And I want to say thank you so much. But before I let you go, you have to show us the ones that the women wear before we let you go. Okay. Thank you. This, the white stuff, mm. this is worn by women. It's an artif it's artificial, artificial hair. Artificial hair. It has to be round. Oh. But it, it really looks like an African hair. Yeah. Exactly. Not the waves that we've been yeah, seeing in the market. This is the skirt. Where right at the bottom? The bottom. From the waist down. The skirt. Okay. Then this is like an apron. Okay. This is called city. <laughs> okay. On the uh, Yeah. Then this is worn around the waist. And then you put on, put on this. Then you put on the beads. So th these ones are for married women or married, married women. Only married women. Yeah. If you are not married, you can't just wear. You just have to put this only around your head. But for this, it has to be married, married women. Woman. Yeah. Wow. And then what about that the one for young women? Young women they, they wear this at the top. On top. On top. Yeah. Oh, this is the type you're, you're supposed to be wearing at the bottom. At the bottom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but this one is on the bottom. You see. On the bottom. Yeah. You wear it around the waist. That's not really. But then, if uh, let's say you are you are not married. Okay. But you, you are a bit old, or maybe you've got one child. Then you put two. One faces this side and the other faces this side. <laughs> wow. If you are just a, a girl you know, don't have a child, just put on one, yeah. open on the other side. On the other side. Yeah. I, I also learned that there is a festival in this country during August where young women um, go to the street. <laughs> yes, go, go, go to the next to the river. They go next to the river and cut uh, this uh, bamboo, okay. which is used for renovating the enclosures in the royal residence okay. because it's made of uh, beehives mm. like windbreakers mm. see, because traditionally with these beehives there's no door yeah so the windbreaker you have to cover it with we make it from the reed dance i mean the reed wow it's called the reed dance, the reed dance. yeah and then uh, like in the august 
the August it's between festival? Uh, late August to early September. And is it the ones that they said is for only virgins or? Yeah. That's, that's only so virgins? Well, yeah. It's wow. supposed to be. It's supposed to be, yeah. But uh, are you sure, like everyone that is I, I, there? I'm not sure because I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Will only tell me about <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing! Like, this country got so much history, and the culture in here is absolutely beautiful. I hope these, you guys, these, these are anklets, we put them around here Your for men only. Oh, yeah. Wow, and it's also made out of a cow skin, a skin. from a cow skin, cow skin. Yeah. but. It's supposed to be from, the, you see the face, you cut it in half, then you roll it, oh. then make this hook. Wow. Yeah, it's made from the Is there anything you want to tell um, other Africans or anyone watching who has never been to Swaziland? Is there any message you have for them? Oh, I'd invite them to come to Swaziland. Like now, the next uh, ceremony will be the reed dance, which is around August, September. Then the next one is the Ingwala, which is a rainmaking ceremony. That's where young men and old men participate, and also the king. Okay. Wow. And thank you so much for talking to us. Okay. Appreciate. It. Wow.